So the big day finally arrived. I was to sign my first ever professional contract with the club I've grown up with, despite being Italian and having an English accent. I've grown up here, and now I'm joining Ajax and Frank de Boer. They've won three titles on the bounce, and this is my time to make it four. If I can't, well, then I'm a failure. Doom, doom, doom. Let's do this shit. Hi guys, Gareth here, and I'm here with my new FIFA 13 series. It is a my player. Let's get straight into it. Our manager said he wants 18 goals, 6 assists, and a 29% um, shots to goals ratio. And he's looking to bring in two other strikers, Jonas and Oscar Cardozo. So I was looking, you know, I was quite unhappy with that, but Jonas rejected us. We didn't get any news from Cardozo yet. So we assume that he's rejected. We just have to assume that. Um, but then they go after Fred as well, and I was, I was just there thinking, well, we've got Sigurdsson, we've got me, um, it's two strikers, and we play with one up front. <coughs> Do you really need another world-class, well, not world-class, but you know, need another really good striker, but um, luckily we get played in the first friendly, which is against Spartak Moscow. It's going to be a tough one, but we are at home, so I was hoping we could win. Um, yeah, obviously this being my, not my um, competitive debut, but this is my first ever game in an Ajax shirt and unfortunately it was a away shirt despite playing at home because um, well the shirts are just too similar so I had to put Ajax in our away one just to make sure um, and this is me um, you know looking pretty good I must say uh, <laughs> but yeah so but unfortunately I actually and uh, well we start off the match um, going one or down seven minutes in um, and this was a really poor match for me personally you know well not, not really personally, but, you know, I didn't have a good performance on the pitch. As you can see, cutting inside here, just about to take the shot and getting tackled. That happened about five times in the game. I'm um, getting tackled just before we're about to take the shot there again. Um, and then we go in at half-time, 1-0 down. We really weren't able to mount, uh, you know, much of anything because Spartak Moscow were just so dominant in this match. They were so good. So there's just a little clip of me battling about. Um, and this clip really just sums up how Spartak Moscow played. Uh, this isn't... This wasn't, I don't think that's their most pressured um, situation, but there was quite a lot of pressure on here. Managed to clear it away. I'm not quite able to get there. And they come straight back at us. Um, they were, you know, all over us, really, in all fairness. And they should have won by much more than what they did. A uh, good save there by Van der Hart. Uh, Joe Hart and Van der Sar put into one. But that match finished 1 0 to Spartak Moscow. And really, we could not, you know, I couldn't do anything. And you can see I was stuck in the middle of the park all the game. What a fucking shit performance from me. Hey, you, you not do too bad. You joking about it? Shit, but cheers anyway. No, 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 you, you, you're not bad. No, mate, I was fucking shit. No, 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 no. I think I will even play you in the next game. No, mate, you, you're having a fucking laugh. I was crap. Um, I don't know what you want about. No, 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 come on. Shake on it. Yeah, okay. Cheers, man. Legend. So as you can see, uh, De Boer there, I, I believe that's how you say his name, the Ajax manager, he decides to be playing me again in the game, so I was quite happy. I didn't personally see what he, he saw from me in the first game, um, but he you know, he obviously saw something, and you can see here, um, coming straight back in, and the desire there to get the tackle, how the uh, thing like that in the last match, which I showed you as well. Um, but then obviously he, he's got a good eye, because I have a good game. Yeah, starting off there, and then here again, just, you know, passing the ball off, but, you know, to shoot, but unfortunately can't actually get it off. Then look, look how um, deep I drop. Uh, I do base my game around players like Wayne Rooney. Um, he was one of my biggest idols, um, and here, really could have scored, but unluckily, it just comes off the crossbar. So the manager, you must have seen something. I personally didn't see it in the first game, but now I'm feeling much better. With Ericsson also coming off the bench, you know, I'm I'm feeling really good. I'm thinking we can actually go on and win this. I'm, we're just unlucky that we weren't able to take the lead. You know, there are many other moments where um, I was getting the ball, you know, doing some good passing play. I just didn't put them in for time's sake. But, um, yeah, unfortunately here, Reina gets a chance and Van der Hart makes a good save. But, unfortunately, De Negris um, actually puts into the back of that. We get a chance here. Taking the shot, boom, but he just goes wide, unfortunately. And then Babel comes on. Um, but yeah, 
Delgado here just playing it down here to Denegris, I believe it is again. Yeah, it is. Um, and you know they were just they had about two ch two pro two good chances and these were literally their two good chances here coming up. Chavez there plays it back to I don't know how, to, how you say his name, but he's he was he had a really really good game. De Jong not able to clear and all I wanted to do was just get back and help out. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't. And then Salzo there uh, just heads it into the back of the net at the back post, which was really really just unfortunate for me. Um, you know, I'd had such a good game, and here, just pulled up, um, luckily my teammate was able to get the shot off, but it just went straight to the keeper, I was quite tired, so the manager decided to bring me off, I thought I could have gone on and scored a goal, but it wouldn't really have done anything, being 2-0 down, um, Sigurdsson does come on, he's also a great striker, so, um, I wish him Becca best of luck when I got substituted off, I shook his hand and all that, um, Ericsson here though, um, obviously came on as a substitute, I'm hoping that he's actually playing in this season, I'm hoping this is just a friendly thing that they've left him out for, but Babel managed just to get himself a, 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 you know, a consolation goal, and I was quite happy that we managed to at least pull one back, you know, at least my work hadn't gone all undone, um, I worried their defenders enough and luckily tied them, tied them out, um, but we did lose 2-1, and that will be the end of this episode, thank you for watching, please leave a like if you did enjoy, and of course subscribe if you haven't already, I'll see you next time, thank you and goodbye.